bond has been set so far for the couple accused of shooting at a man and toddler during what deputies are calling a road rage incident yesterday. Here's viewer video of what unfolded on Paramata Lane, and you can see the woman with a gun shooting towards the car. That car then sped off. Nasli Ortiz is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and Benjamin Green is charged with aggravated assault. ABC 13 reporter Daniela Hurtado joins us live from the jail in downtown where they're being held to tell us how the victims of this accused road rage incident are doing, Daniela. Eric, good afternoon. I can tell you the victim tells us the bullet grazed his head. He's thankfully alive, but he does tell us he's in a lot of pain with constant headaches and vomiting inside the car yesterday. Throughout that incident was also his two year old nephew that thankfully wasn't injured. A couple is in trouble with the law accused of shooting at a car with a man and a two year old inside in North Harris County. Security guard at the show advised witnessing uh, someone shooting at another vehicle. The last thing east on Spring Cypress and District 2 has been advised. The couple now identified as Nasli Ortiz and Benjamin Green. They were arrested at this gas station five minutes from the scene of the crime. The defendant fired two shots. Or discharged a firearm twice into a motor vehicle occupied by the complainant and a two-year-old infant. Ortiz in court claimed the victim almost hit Green. She says she was fearful for his safety. The victim tells ABC 13 the couple was driving aggressively on the freeway and tried to get away from them by exiting and stopping his car in this area. That's when he says they both got out and shots were fired. <laughs> Brianna Sanchez is suspect Green's ex-wife. They have a 10 year old son together. She says she's not surprised to see what unfolded yesterday. Definitely shows a lot on, on both of their characters of, you know, how they really are. They're in the middle of a child custody battle and the 10 year old lives with his father. Sanchez says she's concerned about her son. My son, I, you know, as parents, your kids are everything. You'll travel to the ends of the earth for your children. And um, I just, like, you know, when you called and I just seen, I wasn't even going to answer the phone. <laughs> but when I heard Channel 13 News and then Benjamin, your mind doesn't want to go the opposite way. Now, as for the suspects, they're both still behind bars here at the jail. It will be up to the 182nd court to determine their bond.